Hello YouTube land, my name is Castle Caden and we are having a tutorial on how to install Forge. Now if you ever want to get into modding in Minecraft or installing any mods, you need to install one of two things, Mod Loader or Forge. I already did a tutorial on Mod Loader, today we are doing a tutorial on Forge. If you want to check out my Mod Loader tutorial, do check that out, but today we're just going to be going over the basics of Forge. So, one of the first things that you want to do is grab yourself a zip program. If you do not have one, like WinZip or WinRAR, you can just go and Google 7-Zip. Oops. 7-Zip, and off you go. So, all you'd have to do then is either click on the EXE here, or click on the Alpha here, which is actually the newest version. And then click on this EXE, download it, and install it. The next thing that you want to do is just download Forge. To do that, you just search for Forge. The easiest way to get to it is through the form, even though they've changed and moved. You'd then have to go to minecraftforge.net. The next thing that you'd want to do is head over to releases. And here we have the actual list. Now, we're actually going to load this up just so you can see it. Right as soon as you load up Minecraft and actually log in, you will see the exact version number that you have down in the bottom corner. This is vitally important. When installing mods, you cannot have like Forge version that is different from your Minecraft version or mods that are different from your Minecraft version or you will get crashes. Simple as that, or just black screens of never ending this pretty much so a lot of people when installing mods on the previous tutorial that i had for this told me that they were experiencing black screens and crashing and all of that and i did kind of feel bad because i didn't quite explain that if you have minecraft 1.4.7 you cannot have 1.4.6 mods or 1.4.6 mod loader or whatever else keep that in mind so to do this you just want to go click on the link and uh, yeah, use the universal one. I'm going to support the developers, so I'm just going to click on the AdFly link. It's only five seconds, and if you have AdBlock installed, you don't even see the ads. Just going to skip the ad. And here you'll see that it's actually starting to get downloaded. Now that this is finished, we're going to open it up. Keep in mind that this is in WinRAR that I have opened it up, but you can use WinZip, you can use 7-Zip. I purchased WinRAR, so I'm using it. That's all that it is. Next step that you'd want to do is open up your Minecraft folder. Now, this is going to be a little tricky for those who haven't actually experienced this before. It'll be under Users, your username, App Data, Roaming, Minecraft. Now, I'm not going to speed through this, so do not worry about it. App data is a hidden folder, so keep that in mind. And if you haven't actually been able to see hidden folders before, I'll show you how to do it. You have to go to Organize, Folders and Search Options, View, and you'd want to tick on Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Also, what you'd want to do is uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types, so you'd actually be able to see Options.txt or, in this case, Minecraft.jar. This is it. We got that step done, and now you'd actually be able to see the app data folder and the Minecraft folder, if I recall. So that's a great way of doing it. And uh, yeah, next step that you'd want to do is open up your Minecraft.jar. Normally, this would open up a Java executable type of thing, but what you want to do is go to Open With, choose Default Program, and choose either your 7-Zip, your WinRAR, or WinZip, or whatever it is. If it's not in this list, you can you have to go to Browse, and then specifically select the 7-Zip or WinRAR files. Um, if you're Actually, one of the things I do recommend is to actually uncheck this, unless you are absolutely sure that you want to do this. I do a lot of modding with JAR files, so I always just keep it checked. Anyway, I will be opening this up with WinRAR. Again, you can open it up with 7-Zip as well. It won't make much difference. Anyway, okay, so this is the Minecraft.jar, and this is Forge. So what you'd want to do is actually select all the files in Forge. 
and there's quite a few of them so just drag them over it'll start you know transferring them over which is nice and then the next step that you want to do on your end is in fact delete the meta inf dot folder this is important for you guys so please do it just saying anyways we're going to close out of that and double check to see if it worked let's open up minecraft As you can see, this is different. It's setting up the FML environment, which is included in Forge, so we know that Forge is working. As long as it goes into this screen and not a black screen, you're good to go. Here, for example, you'll see that you have MCP, FML, and Minecraft Forge installed. Three mods loaded, three mods active. You're good to go. At this point, you have installed Forge, and if you know how to install mods, you are good to go. You can just go on from here. However, if you don't know how to install mods, I can show you that too. So let's go to the next step. Let's download Ray's minimap. Okay, usually you'd wanna to go to the Minecraft forums section just because I don't really trust many of the other ones. They usually just like to get the next version out as fast as they can, even though the next version's not ready. So they, I don't know. I prefer minecraftforums.net for this. So do, do keep that in mind. Anyways, so you have, again, Minecraft 1.4.7. You download the 1.4.7 link. Makes things simple. Plus, I know, again, five seconds wait, but again, it's to support the developers. So I usually don't have any problems with that. Anyway, instead of opening up the folder, or, or sorry, opening up the zip file, what you want to do is actually drag the zip file. So first and foremost, let's we have it right here open up your minecraft folder go back into minecraft root directory there is one new folder called mods all you'd have to do with a forge installation is drag over the zip file and you're done let's test this out really quickly it'll load up the environment Generally speaking, you'd be able to see if this works now, seeing as we now have four mods loaded, four mods active. You can actually check the mods that we have, and you'll be able to see that Ray's minimap is in this list, which means, generally speaking, if we actually start into an, our world, it should be available to us right away. Yeah, as you can see, Ray's minimap is now loaded. This is generally the way to install mods on Forge. There are certain exceptions that still require you to drag and drop into the jar file, but in most cases, they ask you to just put it in the mod folder. And usually there are instructions on the Minecraft forum for the mod that you're looking for. So we are pretty much done. I will, go, I will quickly show you guys a quick updated list of Minecraft mods. So let's go to just Minecraft mods. Good that the Minecraft forum is the first link. Usually speaking, this is a sticky pinned like topic list of mods for 1.4.6 or 1.4.7 this is continuously updated so if there's a 1.4.8 or a 1.5 that's coming out at this time when you're looking at it don't worry they'll most likely have an updated list this was actually an amazing idea and it's amazingly well organized so we have scroll down a little bit this is the 1.4.6 1.4.7 list click on show you'll be able to do the complete list or let's say if you want to do some kind of dimensional type of thing where it changes the way things look, et cetera, et cetera, you can actually click on that specifically. And here it even shows you that Forge is required. So do keep that in mind. For some things you need Forge. For other things, it'll say that it's Forge compatible and you're fine with that. For a lot of things, it does require Forge again, so just keep that in mind. I'm just saying. Now, a lot of things you can also install with just um, raise, sorry, like raise minimap, it's either or type thing, right? So do keep that in mind. Anyways, we're gonna head out to the complete list, just so you can see. A lot of these will be just Forge compatible, not necessarily Forge required, but if you're looking for something that's specifically Forge required, you will require Forge. So this just goes over the whole entire list of all the things that are updated, and there's a huge list of mods that you can install. And let's say if I want to do, let's say, the Invasion mod. It requires Forge. It's universal. Generally speaking, what happens in these mods is it'll show you exactly what's needed in order to actually install 
Plus, I mean, usually they're really good with that, so I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Installation, yes, all you need to do is just stick it in the mods folder. So, the, again, this is for Forge. But, I mean, if you're looking for something that's for specifically Mod Loader, it'll probably give you other types of instructions as well. However, this is pretty much it. I've shown you guys how to install Forge. I've shown you guys how to install a lot of types of mods in Forge just by dragging and dropping. I mean, how simple is that? And from there on out, you can actually continue on with your modding adventure. What I do suggest doing, actually, I'm going to quickly uh, check something. What you'd want to do is, as soon as you actually get a mod type of thing installed and you're happy with it, if it requires to edit the Minecraft.jar, what I do is just copy paste it. And if something goes wrong, you can always revert back to the old one. That's just common for backing up. So do keep that in mind, it's a good practice to do. Trust me, I've really messed up a lot of my installations by not backing up. So back up, it's really worth it. Anyways guys, this has been Kestel Kate, and I hope this tutorial has been beneficial to you all. Keep in mind that I also have a mod loader tutorial for those who are interested in using mod loader rather than forge. I prefer Forge just because of the simplicity of dragging and dropping a large portion of mods directly into the mods folder, but in reality, I mean, they are both they both do the same thing, unless there's specific Forge compatible mods. Then again, keep in mind that there's some mods which are not Forge compatible as well, so that's the other side of the coin. So you'd really want to have to take a look around for that. I hope this, again, has been beneficial to you guys. Leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions, I will answer them for you. Subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials every single weekend. I also do gameplays every single weekday. Keep in mind I have my schedule on my channel page so you can check that out. If you have any questions, like just in general for me, not necessarily related to the video, you can tweet at Kestel Caden. I do have Twitter. I am trying to get a little bit more active on that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I really, really do. I really, really, really do. Until next time, guys. Keep modding.